Hi, this is Tony from LandShack.com. Today we will demonstrate how to splice two sections of inner duct together. The most common reason for making a splice is because you may have two sections installed inside of a ceiling that need to be joined. Otherwise, you may be in the process of pulling a cable inside of an inner duct and decide that the pulling force is too great and you need to pull from the middle. So our demonstration today will use one of our pre-terminated fiber optic assemblies. You would start by taking a utility knife and carefully cut the duct in a circular pattern. When you separate the sections, you would pull on the end of the string that has the cable attached. Then you would pull until all the cable comes out from the inner duct. There's our pulling eye. As you can see, it's nice and slim, very secure. All right, now here's the part where if you had a lot of slack, you would lay it on the floor in a figure eight pattern. But for today's demonstration, we're not gonna do that. We're only working with a couple of feet of inner duct. This is just a demonstration. So we're just gonna pull out as much as we need to get to the other end, basically. Okay, so here's the other end of the inner duct, which we're going to pull that slack from. I just want to show you that the, uh, the head is going in now at this point. This is why you would need that figure eight. Cable has a bit of a memory to it, and uh, if you're not careful, it'll kink up on you. So that's why a figure eight pattern is most important. Again, this is just a short piece of cable, that's why we're not doing it. Okay, so here we have it. We have two sections of inner duct that have been cut. We have uh, the fiber optic cable in the middle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a splice to connect these two together securely. You can start by taking a section of duct about eight inches long and proceed to cut it down the middle across the entire length of it. Then what I like to do is I like to cut the end sections, little V pattern on the ends to make it easy to get the splicer on. Just take a little corner off each one. There we have it. Our uh, splice is now prepared. So, We'll take one end of the splice and put approximately half of it around this side of the inner duct. Now all we have to do is to get our other side all prepped and ready to go inside of the splice. And there we have it. A perfect splice. So to finish this off, just for the sake of security, we're going to wrap it with electrical tape. And there we have a perfect inner duct splice. Please remember LandShack.com for all of your cabling infrastructure needs.